<laughs> my god. <laughs> what did I do? Hello, 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 and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. The voices in my head are going strong this evening. And in the last part, we helped out Mercurio, got his astrolite back for him, and kept his money because I'm trying to do a low humanity playthrough, that's just my thing. And what I want to take on today is Thinned Blood. So E is interested in knowing what Thinned Bloods are. We already did this quest, obviously, with Fugly. So we have to go over to the Surfside Diner, which I am sure I'll remember where that is. Huh. I saw a Sabat guy right there, and he disappeared. That was really weird. That must be something they put in hey, for the plus patch. Day. Okay, here we are at the diner. There's this guy right here. If I talk to him. Something I can help you with. And if I remember correctly, he is the guy who is a murderer. <laughs> yeah, the carnival of death guy, right? No. He, he's a murderer, but I, for some reason I can't remember what his quest was. Does the lady by the sea appeal to you? I As guess. A strange oh, weight that... lies on your shoulders. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Dark and heavy your burden. I leave it to you. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. And let's talk to this lady. Me, honey. <laughs> I see a pale girl in my mind. Have you seen the pale girl, too? Is that a trick question? Child of the Surf and his beauty. Have you seen this couple before? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yeah. About four dozen a week. <laughs> Do the pale girls play here? Pale girls? Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Thin blood, do you know these words? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? From where did the words thin blood enter your brain? Hmm. I know I've heard that before. The pale pretty flower girl muttered them, perhaps. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She let the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, Bustling she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? But the flower girl is so close. Ah, she cannot come, so I will deliver them. Because she knows that Lily is being held captive at oh the... Uh, the hospital. That's hilarious. Alright, so she gave them to me, right? Yeah, here we go. A purse left behind at the diner. Girl's photo. A message of a young woman. The message on the back of the photo reads, August 3rd, Santa Monica, Lily. Okay, so the other thing that was Lily's was also that bail bond. So we have to head over to the bail bondsman. This is a receipt for a bail bond. The bail bond was for one Rolf Toten. I wonder if there's something here that I can take... I was never able to come back here because everyone would freak out at Fugly. Can I talk to her again? What'll again. It be, honey? In the air, spoiled scent. On the floor, rodent pellets. You sell filth here? You're the health inspector. I'm putting that sass in my report, too. You know, right. at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. <laughs> I must seek other opportunities for my corruption. Farewell. I love the part in Santa Monica. I feel like there's so much to do here, so many little side quests and stuff. And I feel like as the game went on, it just got less and less stuff for you to do, because I feel like they probably just tried to finish the game as quickly as possible. That's what it feels like. Anyway, I went the wrong way. Can't remember where the hell the bail bonds place is. Maybe it is down here. It is. God damn it. <laughs> You'd think I'd have remembered this place a lot better since I just finished with Fugly, but I guess not. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is turn off this radio because I remember it being really loud, even though I love the radio in this game. Welcome it's hilarious. Welcome Kilpatrick 24-hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Are you the key master? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. The key master, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica key master. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. Can I pluck some answers from your head? Sure, honey. What is it? Tell me of this business of bonds and bounties. Bail bonding? 
What do you want to know? Are there many bounties to hunt? Of course. Goes with the business. Then you sick the bounty hunter on him. That's got to be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Does your hunter have a good balls? <laughs> have good balls of brass? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Maybe you need to find a different set of brass balls. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. I'll dig up this hunter of bounties. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Okay, so that's a side quest we'll take on in a minute. But first, we need to find Toten. Um, Toten R. Blah, blah, blah. And I already know his car is parked. Go back to Germania. I don't know why it says that's so weird. <laughs> it should be Germany, not Germania. They don't call it that anymore. Um, so we need to head over to the beach parking lot place. Beach access parking, whatever it's called, and go find his car. Now, if I remember correctly, it is a red car. Must be this one here. Right here, yes. And there's a tire iron, which I already have, and a book. Want that. Tire iron I already got. Okay, and uh, if I remember correctly, it's Lily's diary. She meets this, this beautiful European uh, gentleman from Germany named Rolf, and he turns out to be a vampire, I think... Not sure if he is a thin blood um, or not, but either way, he turns Lily into a vampire and she's a thin blood. And then he just disappears. Um, whether he's, you know, forced out of Santa Monica or forced out of the United States by somebody else, or if he just leaves of his own volition, not really sure. And then she meets the um, surfer dude from the beach, E turns him into a vampire because she's super lonely. Well, that's creepy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that. That's super weird looking. And of course, he also becomes a thin blood and um, Lily disappears. And I'm pretty sure Lily is captured um, by the guy at the hospital. Right, he's captured by the guy at the hospital because she uh, breaks into the local blood bank because she wants some blood. Oh, it's doing it everywhere. The wires are wiggling. Ooh. It's creepy, I don't like it. <laughs> so let's make an attempt to convince that dude to let us back there. Because I refuse to give him money. Hello. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Hate this Your guy. Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. <laughs> I don't I buy it, you're Betty. Here to take blood, am I right? Your tongue makes strange, garbled noises. They all come in here with that same nonchalant look. With that, who, me, stare, as if they were so clever. Do you think you're the first vampire to try and come in here to buy blood? Honestly. I need to enter this bloody fortress. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. The dark daughter has given me her blessing. She did, huh? Queen Bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Contact Her Majesty and face the truth. Mmm. Opened. Sweet. My inner child thanks you for opening the candy store. <laughs> I know when, um, when I did it with Fugly, he made her an offer to bring him a, um, a person to like sacrifice or to exchange for Lily or whatever. Or maybe that was after I found her. I can't really remember. No. Yep. Eh. Which room has the keypad in it? It's this one. But I don't know the code. That's all right. And I don't re obviously don't remember it. So now I gotta find it. Oh. I remember this too. Eh. Really? I swear you could grab a hold of this and 
break it open. I guess not. Okay. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. No. Maxine. Good lord. There's a dude here. I might just eat him. I leave you with your life, sir. Yes, this is what I want. Computer. Freezer. Nope. Freezers. Uh, my hacking skill high enough? Ambrosia. I remember that. I remember. Passcode. 1969. Sweet. Leave. 1969. Oh, yeah. Um. Ah, there we go. Lily, I'm here for you. Hello. Oh, I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Mm-hmm. Ah, a lost little sickling flower. Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Or let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Because I'm playing on a low humanity run, I might just try and, um, I don't know, extort money from her or whatever. <laughs> Freedom has its price. Anything. Let me go. I will free you from this fox's den, little flower. I think I'll purchase some of your liquids. I Farewell? No, I'm not going to do that. I will free you from this fox's den, little flower. We don't look well at all. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God! Is that the guy I bit earlier? <laughs> the heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've... killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? You wore the mask of the beast. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? You are not the darkness you wear. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Are you the beautiful sickling flower? Flower? My name's Lily, if that's what you mean. You are the flower of he that comes before F and G. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? You and he are connected by strands of thin blood. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Continue weaving the tale. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. Damn it, I gained humanity. I want to do a low humanity run. Seek out your thin-blooded lover. E doesn't hate me anymore? He misses your dark bloomings. I'll go see him. Thank you. And what do I receive for my midnight gardenings? I don't have anything to give. Cash money when next we meet, or I tell your lover of your maniacal murder. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's a cutscene with the blood guy. Oh, that looks really weird. Go and let that bitch out. There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. <laughs> no, you know what? No blood for you. No more. Okay, so the red one, ha ha ha. I don't know. That's threatening him, or if I kill him with that. I'm gonna select it just to see what happens. Oh, cool. <laughs> 
That must be that demonentation <laughs> power. Can't say it right. <laughs> My God, <laughs> what did I do? Ah ha 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 ha! Ha 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 Oh, that's so awesome! Current money, 320. Oh, so I, like, forced him to give me stuff. That's so awesome! Alright, I'll buy your... one of these? And I got three blood packs, so that's fine. That was awesome. So when I talk to him, is he, like, happy to see me or whatever? Or do you think I'm a weirdo? God damn it! how did I get in here? I don't remember. This way? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. no. Need a fix? Need a fix? Okay, so... Oh, I can ask him. So who is your bloody well now? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Oh, I can bring him a person. Right, that's what I, I remember with Fugly. I'm actually going to do that, because again, low humanity run. Where can I find another little blood bag? The bitch who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid blood there. Not like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Don't shed any at the club, though. No, 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 no. The missus, she don't appreciate it. I will look in the house of the shattered. Farewell. <laughs> awesome. Five? Oh, God, I have full humanity. God damn it. Hi. You might have saved me, but I can't look at you. To think anyone could be so compassionless, so heartless. I am not the poisonous weed. <laughs> Where's E? I brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. Keep your flower pinned next to your heart. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. <laughs> She's talking about Cain. He has already exited his box, but has not yet scared his children. I am gone. That's so cool. I can't get over it, because she knows. She knows everything. All right, I want to... Me. No, no, you are going to China. Chinatown. Yes, the future may take me where you see. Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? I see the dark far father and the one who stands in front of him. We chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh God. Oh God. Run. Yes, the tomb will light up the night sky. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. Look again. Perhaps I can share your dark vision. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Tell me how fate has laid the road before me. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Take twenty gold and speak your riddles. Then ask again. Tell me of these final nights and what they hold in store for me. The crimson sheep. He's not who he says she is and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers, follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? <laughs> In whom can I place my trust? Hmm. The man on the couch, the lone wolf, all others tread carefully. What shadows seek to curse me? Where lie the snakes in waiting? Many, everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Thank you. Do you have any fortuitous words? A fateful phrase to save me in future days? Don't open it. <laughs> Will I stand victorious at the close of the curtain? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. 
I am no longer here. All of her predictions make so much more sense to me. I'm, I'm ecstatic right now. But that is all the time that I have for today. If you did enjoy, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to. I make content every single day, all sorts of different games. You can check out everything that I have played and am playing on my channel page. And as always, I'll see you for the next part of Vampire Masquerade with Mad Maxine. Bye-bye!